Okay, we have the Magnavox chassis back on the bench to try and solve this pesky weak FM problem. I rechecked the FM RF amplifier transistor and at first it checked open then I pulled it out of the circuit then it checked good then I physically manipulated the transistor then it checked open again and then one of the leads just pulled out of the transistor body and mind you this is a or was a four lead device with base collector and emitter and the fourth lead connecting to the outer can of the uh, transistor but yeah I'm, I'm gonna say this is bad well we know it's definitely bad now since one of the leads pulled out of it but unfortunately I do not have any germanium transistors around here that I know anything about and the local parts house doesn't have an NTE 126 imagine that yeah, in fact it's getting so they don't have nothing I need anymore and I was digging around in my junk and I found this old Archer which is Radio Shack's brand a silicon PNP general replacement transistor now sometimes a silicon device will substitute for a germanium device and sometimes it will not. It all depends on the biasing and if the silicon transistor doesn't receive the right bias then it won't work. I want to show you something about this Radio Shack transistor before I open the package. It's definitely a throwback to the 1970s look at what it says there made in USA now I've been buying parts from Radio Shack since the 1980s and I don't never recall I don't never recall seeing that phrase on any part that I've ever bought at Radio Shack it was usually either Japan or Taiwan and in more recent years C-H-I-N-A but yeah I really hate to open this but I need it for a test and I think I've actually got a few more of these anyway so yeah we'll open this install it see what happens at this point I'm more or less playing around with various transistors to try to find one that will work in here okay I think that did it all I've got for an antenna is a piece of wire Looking for a newer new vehicle, a great service. There's the local hip hop station that wasn't even coming in at all before. Not that I'm ever going to be listening to that. Don't know where that weak station's coming from. Conventional playing surface in Auburn, but still a good one. Washington, D.C., site of the car chase, and ended up turning the AFC off. Did not perish. Doug, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. Uh, There's a station about 90 miles away that's hard to get. things for people and kind of our ministry as a family you know we go out and do stuff and <laughs>
UK Supreme Court looks carefully at this case and sees that there is... They think they have nothing to hide. Still, on Well, I think the FM is better now than it has been. Ready to watch your favorite TV shows and movies. Yeah, SL100, that's that, that station's about 90 miles away. And then, and tell us how... Hey, Rick, just want to talk a little bit about... Break. Okay, I'm going to let this run a little while and make sure that no other unexpected surprises come up and then we're going to put it all back in the cabinet and call this stereo ready to go. Okay, we're back together and everything appears to be working normally again. Do a quick band scan here. Not always easy being a chocolatey treat. That's good for you. Promotes what he's going to say. Sell on tape. Got it off for you. I'll change if it takes that to make you. We know. Holding John Lovell.com in the next 15 minutes. Lives that so not a narrative. I'm glad this thing likes that silicon transistor that I put in it. I will try AM. I have the lights turned off to try to get rid of as much interference as possible. It really needs to be with reasons we make. But as you can hear, there's still some interference. Tonight, we'll tell you more about what happened. Dot com slash. Got in. Just for a moment. Why? But as you can hear, both AM and FM appear to be working pretty good. Okay, now we'll play a few selections from the 80s. Got a few 45s stacked up on here. the arm set down adjustment on here. Some 45s land like they're supposed to and others don't. It depends on how the record's cut.
Now here are a couple of long playing records. See how they do. Sonic console stereo. Ready to go for a few more decades, hopefully. Okay, thanks for watching and more to come later.